All right. Well, uh, here would be uh, Dots Adventures. I'm Kenny. I'm Tony. And uh, we'd like for you to join us on this adventure. We're going to go see, uh, right up to this car. <laughs> We're going to go see uh, a group called uh, Three Individuals. I'll say no group. Three Amigos. Uh, it's going to be Jack Russell. Yes, that Jack Russell from Great White. And? John Karabi. From? Um, Motley Crue. Rat. Who, Hooligans Holiday. Yeah. He, he had a new project he was working with there for a little while, and then he's quit. Fred and Deb will help us with the name of that. Yeah, I can't remember. And then uh, we're seeing a, a substitute guy. What's his name? Ted Poley from... Danger Danger. And we were supposed to be seeing... Steel Hearts front guy, Miljinko something. And found out he was in Vegas. So evidently he got paid more to be there than with us. And then Bobby Brown's got COVID. She was going to be the the uh, MC I think for the she event. Would, she should be better by now, but maybe she had complications or she just canceled out so far just for precaution. I don't know, but we don't we don't get to see her. Uh, it's going to be in uh, C C C Newton, Newton. It's just Newton. 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 It's North like, Carolina. It's be a new video, a new venue for us, and we're going to do a little new restaurant the, review. The Performing Arts Center place there. It'd be an acoustic set. Mm -hmm. All right. Once again, I'm Kenny. I'm Tony. And who are we? We are Dots Adventures. Check us out. Like, share, subscribe. All right. Here's the first stop on today's Dots Adventures. It's going to be a restaurant called B-52's The Love Shack. The Love Shack is a little old place where we can get together. Yep. Right there. Look. But it's not actually the beefy two song. All right, we're gonna go in and get some food. All righty, uh, scratch. B fifty two. B fifty twos was packed. Probably about uh, I don't know, ten people waiting, and then uh, there were six more firefighters walked in, and every table and every seat at the bar was packed, and we uh, are going to forego. B-52s. B Ain't going to go back to a throwback restaurant from uh, my childhood. Western Steer. We're going to the Sizzler. We're going to the Sizzler. We're going to the Sizzler. Take two on trying to eat before the show. We're going to uh, Western Steer. It's a buffet steak place. All right, ooh, ooh. see if anything's changed since 1989. <laughs> Just got done with our meal. Didn't show you any of the inside because it was packed. Didn't want to get in anybody's space. Uh, Western steer. Yeah. What'd you think? I enjoyed it. Um, <clears throat> the chicken was good. Bigger pieces than I would have liked. What, what would you uh, want it on the buffet that you didn't get? Um, well, I know you wanted steak. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Western steer, no steak on the buffet. I probably wouldn't have still got steak. I would have got, uh, I don't know, maybe some, uh, was there like pork roast or anything? Did you see anything like that? Well, he said prime roast, but he wasn't there neither. He said prime rib. Yeah, he wasn't there neither. I didn't see that either, but it was good. They got macaroni, mashed potatoes. They were, they were all right. Yeah, salad was good. Yeast roll was good. Yeast roll was great. Yeah. We didn't try any of the dessert because we're full. We're heading over to the venue. Stay out of the road. We, we've made it to Newton Conover. Conover, just Newton. Conover. Just Newton. Just Newton. <laughs> uh, there's a little uh, hairy uh, find in the place. It looks like it's a, some sort of municipality, a school function type yeah, thing. Yeah. Uh, it's definitely different. Parking is a, uh, uh, it's gonna be a nightmare, depending on how many people show up. Yeah. Don't look like there's enough room. <clears throat> Kinda like that. Yeah. But right there. Newton Conover. 
city schools. One of these doors people were going in, Tony. Yeah, I think it was around the corner. Was it? I saw it. I thought I saw it where I thought this one says auditorium. You might can get in there. Yeah. The other one said auditorium around the corner, too. I think that's probably the one. Right there. How you guys doing, okay? Yeah. All right, so here's the deal. Obviously, you got the introduction. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of the scream. I'm going to play some Motley Crue. I'm going to play some Dead Daisies. I'm going to play some new shit, some old shit, some songs I grew up listening to. And I may even do a joke or two, so don't be, uh, I hope you're not easily offended. Okay, so now here's the deal. Before I start playing, I always try to lay the groundwork. Are you guys ready for the joke? Yeah. Alright, I have a friend that's very upset with me right now because I smelled his sister's underwear. Fred! Now I'm not I'm not sure if he's upset because she was still in them when I did it. Or if it's because her whole family was in the room when I did it. But it really did make the rest of the funeral awkward. <laughs> See? Nowhere to go but up.
John just got through playing. Uh, did uh, stuff from his whole catalog, Scream, Dead Daisies, uh, Time Spent and Motley Crue, only one song from there. We should be played uh, Jack, uh, Union Jack. He didn't do that, he only played one. Told a lot of stories, it's funny. Uh, what did you think of it? I enjoyed it. He was very, very funny. Interacted with the crowd. It was, it was cool. Man, he's got O. And we have to. And we all. <laughs> and uh, it is freezing in here. I think they turned right. the AC on instead of the heat. It's a small venue. Uh, seats are small. Whatever they've done, built in the 60s, maybe, 70s. All right. And uh, up next is Patty. Ted. Ted Foley. Yep. <laughs>
Take two. And it cut off. I don't know why. I never could get the app to download. It yeah. Just, it kept telling me my link. The link was broken, but there is an app. Yeah. Uh, it's in you know, an old gymnasium. It's not even a gymnasium. It's an old auditorium where they do plays and stuff. Uh, I don't know what, what school it was back then. But that's what it is now. It's been converted into this uh, music venue. They're going to have a uh, rock uh, rock acoustic part two, two coming up within the next couple of weeks. They're going to make an announcement. So uh, we enjoyed it. Uh, it was a unique venue. Uh, it was okay. We enjoyed uh, two out of three. Two out of three ain't bad, Milo said. <laughs> he, he was a decent replacement after I saw him. I was not looking forward to seeing Ted because I was upset about Milajivakan Bless you. <laughs> That's not how you pronounce his name, but and Bobby know. Bobby Brown was supposed to be in there too. And Bobby Brown, and not I, not the guy from New Edition. I'm such a big Steel Heart fan. I was just, it just upset me that he wasn't there. He was even going to sing some of his uh, from the movie. Rock star. He's the one that's seen the Steel Dragon. Right. Stand yeah. Up and shout. Yeah, I know a lot more of that through my wife. Uh, we enjoyed it. Uh, depends on what the lineup is. Uh, we'll go back. I'm sure there's people that 
No matter what the lineup is, we'll go back. We're not one of those. We'll pick and choose if we go back. But we did enjoy the venue. Probably give it a seven or eight on the scale. The sound sounded good. Mm -hmm. uh, it was entertaining. Yeah. No fights. Really, uh, acoustic is a sit-down show, though. That's the only thing I don't like about it. Didn't enjoy that part. It was all right. It's, it's just something different. I, I mean, uh, it, the, sometimes you feel kind of squeezed in. A lot more stories being told during acoustic sets. I do like that. Yeah. They're interesting to hear. Yeah, sometimes you, funny. You can get uh, the, the songs by playing the CD, mm -hmm. but you don't get them behind the, the stories. Yeah. So, uh, I'm Kenny. I'm Tony. And we are... Dots Adventures. We'd like you for you to do what? Like, share, and most of all, subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Uh, be good. Later. Well, hey, I'm glad you stuck around for some bonus footage. Uh, I'm going to show you the goodies that we got back from uh, the show. We got this poster. Jack Russell. John Karabi, and Ted Poley. In fact, we end up getting two of them. Since it's me and my wife. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. If anybody out there wants one of these and, and will help us get to a thousand subscribers, I'll mail this bad boy out to you. Mail this bad boy out for you. We got All we got to do is get to a thousand subscribers and... You gotta like our, our our video. Like our video. Thousand subscribers and I'll mail this out to you. Just one of them. We get to 2,000, I'll send both of them out. But shh, don't tell my wife. All right. And then, like I said uh, in the video, Ted had balloons. So he had balloons and my wife brought home balloons. So we got balloons. I blowed mine up. And we also got a Ted guitar pick that he did not play. He just throwing them out. So once again, we're, we're Dots Adventures. So like, share, subscribe. And if we get to a thousand subscribers, I'll send you a poster. If you like it, you'll enter, be entered into a drawing and we'll give it away. One lucky person. Might even send you a balloon. Gets this. Might, <laughs> might send you a balloon. And a balloon. All right.